You're trying to bring uh, Israeli Americans home. I'm worried about the Palestinian Americans, to be honest. I mean, the professor said that Hamas would let them leave. I, I think that's magical thinking. Uh, what's your take about how we deal with the plight of Americans who are caught up in this situation? Well, let me just first just start off by saying I don't care if you're Israeli American or Palestinian American. If you're an American, I'm willing to get you home and I'm willing to do what is right. It is my obligation as an elected official to protect the sovereignty of America and the safety of American citizens. You know, yesterday we ended up getting over 32 Americans back. Today we got over 45 Americans back. I'm looking to continue my rescues. That's 77 Americans in the last two days. And the question that I always ask is that if one member of Congress can go out and get 77 Americans who are trapped, left behind, some of which have been trying for four to six days to be able to get back and canceled flight after canceled flight, after entrapment, after a shelling, after continual just attempts to get home gets locked down. If I can get 77 people out on my own, on my own dime, then how is it that the full might of the entire U.S. government under President Biden has gotten zero out to this point? That, in my opinion, is an absolute just disaster.